Have you ever had the urge to punch someone in the face? <laughs> yeah, me neither. But anyways, yeah. BVP! Now I know no one really asked or probably- I wanna play that character, that character looks cute. Wanted me to talk about hey, this aspect so of Final Fantasy XIV. But if you ask anyone that knows me in WoW or even Final Fantasy XIV, you'll hear that I'm a bit of a PvP person. Granted, I'm a bit of one of the odd yeah, bots because I actually PvP. enjoy the casual PvP variety and like Instance Battlegrounds or World PvP or Duels. I can't really watch when regardless, I'm Regardless, my main myself. interest in MMO activities usually hang around the PvP side of things. Now, with that said, yes. and if you ever play Final Fantasy XIV, I'm sure you all know where I'm getting with this. <laughs> So the general consensus that I've gathered is that the PvP side of this game- I don't game know why. Final Fantasy doesn't look appealing to me. I know WoW has the same problem with like a lot of like AoE going around the world, but Final Fantasy, I feel like there's so many like things going like- Like, I hate that. Too many pew pews, you know what I mean, chat? Way too many pew pews for me is one of its weakest points and after playing it for a few weeks i think i can see why that is though i feel like i have to add that despite that for the past few weeks my msq progress has been halted entirely because i had gotten distracted by the pvp shenanigans stuff that this game has so with that said i feel like i can say that there is still enjoyment to be had from the whole experience general concepts so the way the pvp works here is that it's all on a set stat template once you're level 30 and upgrade your class to a job you can participate in all the pvp activities in the game how do you access the pvp in this game well unlike wow there is no world pvp in this game and with that I, there's also like no dueling in the open areas but you can duel people in order to do that you have to go to a very specific spot in the world kind of like how the mugambala and hook point was designed to work as the pvp incentive in wow which didn't work very well. Now, where is this said PvP dueling ring? Well, let's make a game of it. Now, here's the map of the general area as to where the dueling ring resides. I'd like you to take a guess as to where it might be. Right there. What do you now, think, chat? if you pick this location over here, then you're absolutely dead wrong because our dueling ring is all the way in the middle of the ocean! I know how we wow folks What the hell? Like it wasn't even the PvP map. doesn't get enough attention from the devs, but good God, dudes. This takes it to a whole nother level. You have to go so far out of your way to unlock the small PvP zone over here by doing a quest that takes you to another middle of nowhere place to sell all the way over here. So, yeah, so after you get to the Loner's Pier, you'll realize that your abilities seem to be a little bit different. Because they are. <laughs> Just about every ability in the game is adjusted to meet the PvP template standards. So that means you have to go through all your abilities again to see what changed. Also, you, you access these PvP-ified abilities in the PvP profile tab. Right? Not the usual abilities tab you go to in literally anywhere else in the world. <laughs> Something else you'll need to get used to, which applies to the PvE side as well, is the animation locks you have to account for in combat. I didn't really mention this in the other video because... Animation well, locks? Flat. Wait, in Final Fantasy, you can't move like this, chat? Do you get locked when you do, like, such an ability? D, Red Paladin! Savage D! Red Paladin in the universe, of course! Thank you. PPC. I don't just forgot it. Um, but every ability has some sort of animation lock before it's visually executed. Now, with that said, that kind of automatically implies that you're not going to be getting the fast, super responsive plays that you have in WoW, where you cast an instant cast ability and you can rely on it getting cast instantly. Uh, here, you're going to have to get a lot more premeditative with your things in this game because as soon as you use the ability, it technically has gone through in the system but you don't really see the results until after the animation has ended. Sometimes the animation lock flat out blocks you from using another ability until it finishes its thing too, depending on what you play. So there's quite a few things to keep note of there. There's also this weird, almost permanent lag that's really apparent in duels, especially. Chad, do you think like, if we decide to play Final Fantasy, can we get rank one in Final Fantasy in PvP? What do you think, chat? Or would it take way too much time to get good at? makes overall reactive plays almost impossible to really do in time. I want to go grab rank one in there. What do you think, chat? Is that like a challenge we should do? I think there's ranks. No, there should be rank ones in PvP. There's no way they don't have that. Makes the game more of a fight of premeditation and anticipation more than an actual bar brawl that duels tend to be in WoW. Honestly, on high division, there's only three. Yeah, I heard from Asmin's stream like people just win trade in the top because it's so easy to do that. 
Uh, I know in WoW, right now in TBC Arena 2v2, especially in NA, the ladder is so dead that people can just snipe very easily. Like one comp counters the other and then you just queue. If someone someone else is queuing, you stop queuing because you don't want to get countered. TBC is all about rock versus scissor too, so. Our community! Oddly enough, one of the main reasons that I believe PvP is on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of content, and personally I think is the biggest reason, is because that, well, there just isn't that huge of a PvP community in comparison to other things. Should I have even heard that the ERP community in this game is bigger than the PvP community? Well, actually, now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense because... There's an ERP in there too? Need people I thought WoW was on the really ERP. Thing because you can't really do PvP by yourself. It's just kind of how it works. <laughs> now, I'm not uh, saying it's, like, it's wow, entirely you can't dead. Yourself. The casual form of big group PvP called Frontlines has a pretty decently active player base. Okay, so if I don't need gear, is it like Lost Ark? Oh shoot, does he know the jump? This Druid's insane, chat? Is he insane? Oh my god, this Druid's actually insane gamer, dude. You know in Lost Ark, when you go into PvP, like, gear doesn't matter at all, and you get all your talent access for PvP, right? In Final Fantasy, can I just get to level 30? And just PvP to get rank 1 or do I have to reach like a certain level and have certain items and certain stuff? How does it work? Mostly because it's the only PvP event that has a daily roulette attached to it. So you get both the PvP folks and the normal Competitive ERP? I'm not talking about ERP, I'm talking about PvP chat. What are you guys talking about? I'm pretty sure you just need level 30 and you're good to go. Wait, so what's the max level in the game? 60? Uh, I don't know if I should defend or go for the flag. If we do go for the flag, we need to fast. Yeah, people, it's what we do every Saturday night in Gosha. Because remember when you were on your knees and so yeah, uh, level eighty is cap. Okay, but if I Q PVP, I will fight against level eighties, but they scale down to my level. How does it work? Hopping in for some quick fun, but outside of front lines, yeah, the PvP community is really small, and the dedicated me? I had PvP to, I had to get, get the flags even then. smaller. And Our flag guy is getting gangbanged. We need to gangbang this guy. The community is so we can't great fight in the street, nice you know. Type of thing, despite its size. Well, you might get that the first few days of doing it, but after a week, you're hanging around in the dueling no. area. Well, eventually you run into the more normal PvP crowd that you all are probably more accustomed to. Maybe it's a little bit more team than Dual Altar. I haven't really seen anyone sell people over their IRL Sorry, profession dude. choices, personal financial standing, or overall. Basically, level don't matter. Every job has the same HP and pull mana spell. Okay. Your level won't matter in PvP. Okay. Life worth based on rating. Yet, but since the community is world smaller than WoW's, fighting words tend to have a bit more of a personal touch to them here. That is. This must be an old video. When was this video out, chat? 5 minute 25. Uh, 10 months ago, okay. Yeah, Final Fantasy community is huge now. It sucked up all the wild refugees. And Asmin is like leading them to victory with all the cat ladies. Show up. Dueling! So, as mentioned before, you can only really duel in this one very specific part of the game. The place is way off to the east in the Loner's Pier, and it's a square-shaped arena with four corner walls in the corners of the ring, and a pillar on the northern and southern ends to use yeah, as Yeah, well. this is why maybe we should go in bread PvP. So, this video is 100% valid, queue times are very long, they're worst part of PvP. My community only PvPs. Because we're chads. What if we all, like, go in there? You know, and do some PvP, try to get rank one, hold. Line of sight material. Honestly, dueling is one of my favorite activities in MMOs in general. So this is kind of the place I tend to hang around often by default nowadays. Unfortunately though, a good majority of my experiences in the dueling ring lead to either me standing by myself at the pier, 
or me standing by myself while staring at a bunch of people staring at me just outside of the dueling pier. <laughs> They're just staring at him. It's getting a little awkward. However, when I do get around to dueling, I always end up having a good time, win or lose. Occasionally, apparently, um, there will even be some events every now and then at the dueling ring where some players will host a tournament for other people to go through and the winner gets some type of big old prize. And that's when the dueling ring is like the most packed I ever see. It is a nice change of pace. However, they can get a little wild. <laughs> Front lines! So to all of you wild folks out there, these are the battlegrounds of Final Fantasy XIV. And the game mode... I don't know why this looks fun. This big group fight looks... I'm not a fan of big group fights, but this fight looks pretty fun. I and them are pretty neat with some of the mechanics. They're also one of the most common PvP modes I play, mostly because it's the only one anyone queues for. But essentially, they're pretty similar in size to an Altric Valley or Isle of Conquest in WoW. But instead of a 40 versus 40 team, it's a 24 versus 24 versus 24. Yeah, you heard me. That's it's three teams of 24 people each. So the overall atmosphere and general that tactics so people incorporate into this game is a bit different than WoW since they have to think about that second enemy team when they do things. I personally don't That's mind actually it. So and cool. I think it's an interesting bit of spice compared to the usual two team type of matches I'm used to. Yeah, that is like very interesting. Everything spice. else outside of Guild Wars 2. There's also this baseline mechanic across all front lines and wherever killing someone yields your team five points and dying loses your team five points. So basically you're just like stealing five points from another team and it really encourages is both button mash and slaying and cautious introverted Wait, it doesn't look yep. like he has an animation log this guy's like moving super fluid in here chat team five points and dying loses your team five points so basically you're just like stealing five points from another team and it really encourages both button mash and slaying oh is there no skill shots in this game avoidance. either now as interesting as an idea as it is unfortunately that's that's why i'm watching this video because people say uh i heard the pp suck that's all i hear too i'm like stoops is Final Fantasy good? He's like, it's boring. Have you tried PvP? No, I heard it sucks. That's usually the answer I get. But I don't know anyone that actually tried it. It has the worst PvP I ever tried. <laughs> uh, if I play, I want to play the most OP Mongoloid class. Just smash with them. Boom, boom, boom. There just isn't really a wide variety of front lines to choose from. Whereas in a while, you have Warsong Gulch, Arathi Basin, Alteric Valley, Eye of the Storm, Strand of the Ancient. Oh, wait. Isle of Conquest, Battle for Gilgamesh, <laughs> Twin Peaks, Silver Shard Mines, Temple of Kalmogu, Deepwind Gorge, and Seething Shore. Final Fantasy XIV has Borderland Ruins, Seal Rock, Fields of Glory, and Onsod Hakir. Yeah, when you put them side by side, there's like no comment really needed as to who has more PvP things to do. But let me make things a little bit spicier for you. The front lines are actually time locked to where you can only do one type of front line each day and they currently cycle through them every day so if the limited variety wasn't enough you're forced to pick only one type of front line per day and you can't even choose which one it's already decided for you and guys this is actually better than when i started doing the pvp thing because i started playing pretty much a few weeks before the current season started and apparently that cycling thing gets worst part of a ff pvp interface and ui in general yeah, or maybe we're just too used to WoW, right? But this UI does not look too clean. Uh, will you play Raid FF for us as self refugees? I do want to try it out for sure, but I don't know if I want to invest my, you know. If I go in MMO, I like to go try hard, and I don't know if I want to like try hard in a game. Where it doesn't have too much of a PvP aspect to it. Where in Lost Ark, I love PvPing in that game, right? It's turned off entirely when it's that late into the PvP season. So I was stuck with doing nothing but Onsar Hakir over and over and over for a few weeks until this season started. And oh boy, was it a breath of fresh air to not see Onsar again. I'll tell you that much. There are some other interesting baseline rules that applies to all front lines as well. One that I particularly like is this battle high mechanic where you do more damage and healing the more you fill up this bar over here. And the way you fill it up is by either getting killing blows or assists. So it actually strongly encourages you to be aggressive. 
and I think it's really neat. Uh, I mean, I don't think it'll work well if implemented in WoW, because, well, if someone's going like 22 and 0 in a battleground, then he's already either got a strong gear advantage, a solid skill advantage, a group of pocket healers, really lucky, or all of the above. And super boosting someone with that type of advantage is probably not the best idea. You also get an extremely punishing slow for 10 seconds if you get hit while mounted. So despite being able to mount anytime you want, quick getaways are kind of a tricky thing to pull off depending on what you're playing. I think mounting whenever you want is awesome. Scratch a bit of that normal battleground age that I tend to crave, and it's really easy to just hop in and get right into it after you get reacquainted with your PvP setup, that is. You son of a bitch! It can also be a super solid way to level up any of your jobs because the first frontline roulette you do in the day is like a guaranteed half a level, no matter what level you are. So just doing that one frontline roulette a day can give you a pretty solid DXP boost to any alt job you may be working on. And you don't even have to win. Like, that's just flat out normal. And if you win, it's like a little bit extra. And it's good stuff. In fact, that's kind of how I have this many high level jobs without having completed Stormblood yet. So that's always a bonus. Rival Wings! So, this is pretty much a MOBA, but you're in it as an MMO pleb. I really, really wish I could show some footage of it, but for some reason, I decided not to record any of my ventures in there. But some of you may be thinking, well, I'll just queue for it and get in it again. And to you, I respond, I tried. <laughs> I tried. The only reason I was able to get in in the first place was because there was an event going on and people had to collect these irregular tombstone things to buy limited time items. Rival Wings was one of the things they could do to collect these things. So there was an actual incentive to queue for it. That event I mentioned is now ended. And so the Rival Wings queue just seems to be just permanently dead now until they do something like that again at least. Feast! So this is the rated arena in Final Fantasy XIV and to you wow folks, it's pretty different from the arenas you're used to. Whereas in a while you had 2v2s and 3v3s. Here, it's a 4v4 situation where you also have to have a specific group combination to enter. The goal is to collect more medals than the enemy team by the end of the timer or until you collect 600 medals in order to win. Yes, you heard me. It's not Wait, specifically- there, there's no 2v2 or 3v3, it's only uh, a 4v4 in this game? just a one life death match like it is in WoW. Though it technically falls under the death match category since the only way to collect medals is by killing someone and grabbing their medals. But even so, you can still theoretically lose even if you get more kills than the enemy team. Or for solo- thing, see, wait, 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 wait. There's solo queue or is it team queue? Didn't he say you, have, you need a specific team to queue it? You have to collect shit. I mean, I don't mind that. It's, you you get a, you you collect when you kill. It says, "It is arena." It's the same thing. Does it say collect? But you collect it when you kill someone. You don't have to collect shit. Okay. Um, solo queue, but you'll be paired with three other roles. Wait, that's pretty pog. So I can spam that all day and try to get R one. Oh, Zed left. Where does Zed go? I got a FK for this one, okay. PC is actually very sparse in this game. Tanks have a stun, healers have a sleep, physical range DPS have a silence, and melee DPS don't have anything outside of the ninja's half second silence. It gets a bit more varied with caster DPS, like black mages have an AoE sleep, red mages have a root and a slow, and summoners have a stun. And keep in mind, every single stun, sleep, and silence of the like lasts only two seconds, that's other than just half second. So you only get like literally like one or two hits in before they're out of the CC. So you don't get a lot of time at all. So if you're expecting a full on like triple poly combo and just triple cyclones to a full kidney in order to lock down the healer to just annihilate the rest of his team here prepare to either be disappointed or pleasantly pleased depending on how you see the cc situation and wow because that's not really gonna happen to that extreme though i have to say that the primary tactic does land in the same vein as that but if both dps burst a target with zero cc applied anywhere the healer and the kill target can still live through it with uh service so give me that copy i made the pp final fantasy is dead and bad there's nothing you can do to fix it i mean i'm not going there to fix it i just want to grab rank one in there See if it could do it, right? Because you need to be level 30 and there's solo queue. So I could just spam all day, get practice, and maybe potentially climb, right? Or I could be stuck at like 1500 forever. <laughs> or I could play Lost Ark and try to become the best in Lost Ark. Hmm.
Or we could get rank one in Final Fantasy. So we're like, wow, rank one. Final Fantasy rank one. And then Lost Ark rank one. Hold. The use of defensives, burst healing on the healer's part, and defensive stunts and AoE mitigation on the tank's part. And when it comes to those instances, then it's mostly just a mind game with the enemy healer as to who you're going to burst down next. So you'll be switching targets like a madman just to throw the healer off. Another interesting thing that I was not expecting in a PvP environment that's so communication heavy is that you can't actually type anything to anyone when you're in the feast. You get these preset commands to use to tell who's going to be going down when. And the one you'll see the most often is focus target and they'll pull down like a countdown timer of five four three two one and when it hits zero everyone goes in and bursts them really handy but another one i see used a lot is hello and nice job where they will just spam the crap out of that when you ended up dying for a reason that may or may not be your fault <laughs> yeah there is a level of toxicity in this game <laughs> hold on so turns out that hello is the feast lingo for my burst is ready and it took me way too long to figure this out. If anyone is watching who has any connection with Square Enix employees, please, if anything, just let them add a new quick chat command where it just says, my burst is ready, instead of people saying hello. Because new players like me, I thought it was being toxic. And that's not a good impression for trying to get people into a community that's uh, already at the size of a pebble. That's okay? interesting. So yeah, that'd be great if they made that change. I got more to talk about this one, I'm gonna talk about it here. All right, back to the video. But despite the fact that the community is as small as it is, I was actually able to get into some rated feast matches because this game has solo queue. And it's because of that one reason that I was able oh, to accrue the lost. footage that you see now. Square Enix, you may not be doing all that hot when it comes to handling your PvP situation, but I gotta give you some props for making solo queue exist. Because good lord, man, it, it's definitely helped my experience. Yeah, what? How does, the wild not, how does Retail Wild not have solo? I really don't understand, man. It's not that hard to put in. I fucking hate Blizzard, man. Accessing PvP in this game. Kind of. All right, so I'm going to go back to bashing the dang thing by saying just, holy God, PvP just completely dies at the end of a PvP season. When I was trying to queue for the feast before this current season started, there was just... Maybe they went right to the shit. No, I think in my perspective, if they want to do solo queue, the best time to do it would be in retail because every class has literally everything. They all have a one shot and it gets their ability. Every class has insane bursts, dude. Like, the two weeks two weeks ago I played, every class is a one shot, dude. Every class has something. In Wrath or TBC, some classes don't have really good defensive. There's like cl class uniqueness in Wrath and TBC is what I'm trying to say. Like Rogue has all the CC, but their, their burst potential is not super high as a mage would be. Yes. Does that make sense? But in retail, like Rogue can literally one tap you, mage could one tap you, mage's shield is like 10,000 million and they never die, etc, right? So if they wanted to solo queue, best time would be in retail. Because retail, every class has everything. Not a chance in the world I was getting in that business. But anywho, that kind of about covers the gist of it for PvP. I can go into detail in several of the things I've mentioned here, but I think I'll reserve that for another time. Personally, my thoughts on the whole thing is I still very much enjoy the dueling experience, and I kind of just wish more people did them. And honestly, I still hold on to my statement that the biggest downside to Final Fantasy XIV's PvP experience is that the community for it is just really, really small. That could also be the effect of a domino effect as well, with the game giving very few real incentive for anyone to jump in outside of the occasional seasonal mounts and gear. And even then, I heard people being upset with some general PvP changes, and apparently Apparently, at one point, there was no- Jack, can I just spam arena or do I have to do these big wars? You guys say gear doesn't matter, right? Dude, I'm actually really, really- Or maybe I should just play for PvE. Maybe I just need to stop being a PvP player, chat. PvP player and MMOs might be a mistake. Uh, very good on by this video. I PvP'd a lot in Final Fantasy. I changed- uh, I'm, I'm probably dead here. Ready for 10 hours? Don't worry about me. I'll make me with the insane coil. I gotta stun for this bad boy. Bam. The trinkets it. Uh, I repped that guy. Oh my god, he's so low. Please. Nice. Rogue might grab it though. He does grab it. 
Uh, very good on bias video. I pp'd a lot in FF, and I change his stress is even more how bad you bad queue times are, and maybe retract animation lock part because this is not a big deal for a lot of jobs. Maybe they should be like Lost Ark where players have a cooldown to cancel animation locks. Like in Lost Ark, everything is skill shot, but you do have like a charge up and you could like, right? But you could be charging, you could cancel it and like dash away. That's what I love about Lost Ark. Everything is like short cooldown, fast paced, nothing really one shots you. And you have a trinket on like a 10 second cooldown. So if you're getting CC'd, you could like dash out or you could cancel your abilities to dash. I love that game. It's really good. Great design. PV is only 8 man, so it's pretty skill based. I would think you would enjoy it. I might, Kaiser. I might. I'm actually like wanting to try PvP and... Does gear not matter? Like, I don't know if you guys are telling me the truth or not. Gear doesn't matter in Final Fantasy? For PvP? Become a PV king like Guzu is a PV monster ball now. He only PVEs, he never PVPs. PVP specific abilities. You just use your normal PVE kit and gear actually made a difference. So I entirely missed that boat apparently. Overall though, PVP is naturally a fast paced type of thing where strategy and quick decisive of thinking and reactions are the core enjoyment of the experience outside of directly asserting dominance over another person, of course. And I can definitely see how the natural slower delivered nature of abilities in this game wouldn't quite yield the standards people tend to hold for a PVP environment. I thought this would be great content. An animation lock of some sort. I'd be like road uh, to rank one. Like I stated at the start of the video, I've literally been doing nothing but PvP for the past few weeks. And call me a sad, strange little man. But I actually have been enjoying the PvP combat in this game. So much so that my biggest problem with the PvP in this game is that there aren't enough people to fight. So fight me, darn it! But anywho, this video is getting long as is. So I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful life. Take care, folks. See, this is the problem with WoW, like, I have no gear, and if I want Arena, I need to farm some gear, so I'm just farming, but if Final Fantasy gear doesn't matter, I kind of want to just jump in an Arena, dude. That sounds hella fun. Now, I'm not gonna lie, being a red with no gear and TBC is so ass. You go oom fast, you don't do any damn, it's miserable. At least like war you just get rage, or rogue you just have energy and you can just spam damage. I just go oom. <laughs> and it sucks, dude. My server and TBC is dead. For PvP, where should I transfer to? Uh, I like Fairlina. Fairlina's pretty pog. But here's the catch. Um, in retail, at least there's... Worldwide arena queue, so you could queue with anyone from any servers, right? But in TBC, you don't have the access, nor is there LFG. So, I know there's a lot of people that want Arena, but they don't get to Arena because they, they can't find partners. So if you're coming here for Arena partners, there might be more players than an average server, but uh, PvP scene in TBC is kind of dead. In NA, at least. In EU, it's really high. In NA, it's pretty dead.